Shoppin' Spree by Judith Sanders. Cash burning a hole in my pocket. Gotta buy me a new pair of pants. Flame proof this time. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna buy me some spiffy new knee joints. Self lubricating. A pair of 2020 eyeballs. Perma plucked brows. Pre shaved legs. A belly so flat it'll double as an ironing board. A box set of orgasms. Shaking like Jagger and a California quick. A big ol' IQ over 150. Expensive, but worth every million or billion or gazillion of my hard-earned pay. A storage locker for old cigarette jingles and boyfriend's food preferences. I'm gonna buy me a whole new passel of friends. And a collector's edition of anecdotes to impress them with. Certified fresh by famous comedians. I'm going to get me a classy personality. Type A alpha dog, 14 carat time tested, precision engineered. I'm going to take it out for a spin and whoopee, watch out. I'm laying out for a whole new presentation. Six foot tall with silver sideburns, plus a blonde ponytail that'll swing like a pendulum when I'm out winning marathons. And a head full of dreadlocks. That's me chilling in shades on the hit album cover. I'll also be purchasing a whole new wardrobe from Paris and a silhouette to go with it. Yep, springing for a classic tall and thin. How about you? I'll be trading in my belly fat for a double D stand-up chest. I'm going to be all mini skirts and leather boots. Me with my new leg extenders. Except on Tuesdays when I'll be pure natural fabric and souciance in caftans and moo-moos smelling up the party with clouds of jasmine and other irresistible organic essences. I'm subscribing to a style consultant, charm school personal trainer. I'll bench press five times my body weight with my savoir faire and impeccable table manners, my smiling teeth white as a four-star washcloth. I'm going all out for an internal disk drive. I'm going to live stream me the Wikipedia so I know everything about everything. Just ask me about the Shays Rebellion or how to make grab lacks for 12 or when you got nothing in the fridge but a half-empty box of crusted baking soda and some outdated mayonnaise, how to whip up a gourmet candlelit budget dinner for 16 restaurant critics so tasty it'll get you on the cover of Vogue and a statue in the town square. I'm snapping up the most fantastic set of relatives, the kind that has fun reunions in the Adirondacks, regularly produces a crop of curly-haired kids who drop off while singing around the campfire, and grandparents who take them to the circus and leave them their priceless art collections with no strings attached, and magic trick uncles dispensing peppermints, nickels, and advice only when asked, and have a charming old family homestead on the beach with titanium plumbing. I'm shelling out for a round-the-world cruise in the comfort of my very own rec room. Turquoise leatherette recliner right out there on the poop deck, whatever that is. But first, I need me a new house. Cute and self-cleaning. Need the oil change only every hundred thousand years. I'm gonna nab me a religion that commands a nightly sacrifice of roast lamb studded with rosemary and garlic. One that's got itself a god with no problem loaning out his lightning bolt when some lout on the bus is yapping all his boring beeswax into a cell phone or the boss is an idiot. I need me a brand spanking new set of cherry red toenails and a tangle free hairdo color coordinated to my high tech body shape and sweat proof polka dot underwear and a computer that never needs ironing. A hairy eyeball for when the kids get snotty. I'm loading up on a fascinating highbrow journal that's easy to read as a discount sportswear catalog. A theater subscription I never have to go to. A book of the month club of books I already read. A set of dishpan hands for some house guests who forgets to send a thank you note. I'm splurging on a hot off the press's new country in a white dress. Wildflowers clean up and down the highways full of bicycles. And cookouts and free concerts in every town square every Sunday. 
and no currency, and a garden on every rooftop, and a flag flapping from every lamppost in tie-dye pastels, where the national anthem is Al Green crooning love and happiness. Where wild horses crop the medians and trot up to your car window at stoplights to crunch one of them natural sugar lumps you got stashed in the glove compartment, and the televisions are all broke, and the car alarms are thrown down the defunct coal mines. And did I mention the free milkshake dispensers in the national parks? I'm putting a down payment on a summer igloo in the Arctic, a winter beach shack in Honolulu with a grand piano and a candelabra and a motor-operated flip-roof surfboard, a pen that does the Sunday crossword in ten minutes, an ever-warm English muffin with the world's tastiest jam, an endless summer morning stretching to the grand finale of the universe. I'll pay any price but also a ringside seat at the next Big Bang, complete with protective eyewear, earplugs, and an explanation in the program that a poet could understand. A vacation on Mars, all expenses paid. And while I'm out there, a ice skating tour around the rings of Saturn, with photo ops, a jump rope contest on the moon, a sauna on Venus, and I'll pick me up some northern lights for my living room, a caribou to keep down the weeds out back, carved ice tumblers for my next dinner party, of course, a flying carpet to go visit Grandma, up, down escalator from my very own home, barbecue delivered by Zeppelin on my birthday, a quetzal nesting on my front porch who greets me with a new Spanish love song every morning, a lie detector for my charm bracelet to wave over the daily news, a commandment to spend every Sunday in the hammock reading P.G. Woodhouse with a glass of Chardonnay on pain of excommunication. A president who does whatever the hell I tell him. A dog who walks me and feeds me treats whenever I shake somebody's paw. Error-free typing. A cure for the common cold that'll make me the world's richest poet. Of course, for old times' sake, a pony and a pirate lover. And daily home delivery of the world's finest chocolate. Non-fattening. A cookie jar full of exuberance. A trunk of perfect hostess gifts. Heartfelt condolence cards that say just the right thing. Sensitivity I can turn off like a faucet. A dozen healthy children who always make their bed and say, Yes, Mother dear, admiring my wisdom and get straight A's. Each plays a different musical instrument in the family band. A paradigm shifter, a bullshit zapper, an anti-asteroid shield that'll cover everyone, except them too cheap to shell out the greenbacks for our nation's protection. Books of brilliant poems offered by myself so long ago, I don't remember. I'm going to buy me a brand new me. Monogrammed, gift wrapped, satisfaction guaranteed. Or my money. <laughs>